Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing great today. Now today I want to talk about a tool that I've discovered about two weeks ago. And what I really love about this tool is that it has a simplicity of, of lovable, but it also has that sophistication of a tool like Replit. And this tool is rocket.new. And what I want to do today is I want to bring in designs from Figma into Rocket New because maybe some of you have a particular design already built in Figma and you want to kind of build that and make it actually like an like a real app, or you might have some type of style guide inside of Figma, some type of file with particular colors. Maybe it can be some type of like mood board and you just want to bring that into Rocket and build off of that, right? Now, before we go into today's video, what I want to do is I want to just invite you guys to my Discord community. We basically get together every single weekday. Um, we're a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers. So if you are interested in, you know, talking to us, chatting with us about different topics, Feel free to join that link is down in the description below. But anyways, this is how rocket.new looks like. And down here we have this import Figma button. If I were to just click on this, I get this pop up saying I need to connect your Figma account to start designing to, to start design import. So we can go ahead and click on connect. And inside of the documentation of rocket.new, we have a bunch of, you know, useful information on how to import your Figma project into rocket. It shows you how to create web applications, how to create mobile applications. And as you can see, it gives us like a nice visual guideline on how everything works, which is very helpful for, for beginners. And we can open some random project inside of Figma. For example, this is one that I found in the community. Shout out to Hamza Naim for this. And we can choose one of these pages, right? We can go ahead and choose, for example, this one. And then I'm just going to right click and then go over here to the copy and select copy link to selection, or you can just use this shortcut. And once we have that, let's go back into Rocket. Inside of Rocket, I'm just gonna paste this URL like so, and then we're just gonna start the import. And immediately we get this, where we can basically select the specific pages. So I just selected one page, but if you were to basically import your whole design file, you can choose the different pages that you wanted to build, which is very helpful. And we're gonna be doing that in the next example, but right now let's just try with one page, select this, and let's click on start import. And then Rocket asks us, let's co let's customize your tech stack. I want to go ahead and maybe try Next.js, click on confirm. And this is what I really like about Rocket that it basically, before it starts building, it asks you what types of tech stack you want to use. So you can do a little bit more research as to the difference of, of, of each one. And once that's building, we can go ahead back into Figma and look at other types of projects that are being built here. I search website template. Maybe we can search for like web app template. And I found this one, this Airbnb one, very nice. Shout out to John Moore. And what we're going to do is instead of right clicking on one of the, of the canvases, we're going to go ahead and click on the share button over here. And we're just going to copy the link to this file. And just like the other one, we're going to click on import Figma. We're going to click here and click on paste, start the import. And as you can see, we get all of our different pages here. We have the home page, we have the standard search, we have the lock search, we have the listing page. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe select all of them except for the Lux one. We also have a mobile frame here, but this is the thumbnail. We can just ignore that. So we have these three frames. So it basically reads all of the different frames inside of Figma. And we can go ahead and click on start import and we can just customize our tech stack again. In this case, I'm just going to build it a little bit different. Instead of Next.js, I'm just going to choose React, choose TypeScript, and then choose Tailwind CSS. And already for the first design, we get this, right? We get fine clothes that matches your style. We have the image that we brought in from Figma. Something that a few of these vibe coding tools have a problem with is bringing in like images like this, like logos, and it does it really well. So all in all for a first shot, it looks pretty good. Now there are a few things that need to be fixed. For example, over here, this doesn't quite look like it did in Figma. In Figma, it looks more like this. So what we can do is we can maybe try to use an image reference for this specific section. So I'm just, I just took a screenshot, gonna drag in the screenshot over here. So I'm gonna say, please design the newsletter section and footer to look like the image reference. And at the same time, going back into Figma, there are, you know, UI kits, right? This, for example, is the Apple UI kit, it's iOS 15 UI kit. And I don't know how exactly this is gonna work, but we can go ahead and try to bring this into Rocket. I'm just gonna copy this link. And inside of Rocket, I'm just gonna go ahead and import this again. And now you can see the different pages, right? We have the components, we have the support this project, change log, kit component cover. These three wouldn't be so necessary, but we have, you know, all of these different frames from here. And as they load, you can kind of see the preview, right? You have the donate, topography, keyboard, status bar, and home indicator navigation bar. So let's go ahead and select some of these. We can go ahead and start 
this import. And while this gets prepared, we can go into the other projects. I wanted to check out this one. And I'm looking at this for the first time. It looks great. Nice little design over here. It looks pretty much just like in, in Figma. Obviously, there are a few things that you would kind of need to adjust, for example, like these buttons and some parts of the layout as well. But all in all, it got the images really nice and it has multiple pages as well. As you can see, this is like the property list or the property detail page. We actually have the listing page with the map and we have a very nice navigation over here, but it's not really interactive. So that's what you have to kind of continue doing here in the chat. So we can go ahead and ask, for example, Rocket to connect this Nashville, Nashville card to the detail page, right? And going to our first design, it actually looks it actually looks just like in, in Figma, I would say, really. Like now it's just completely like in Figma. We even have like the blurs over here looking great. So it does really work to give it like an image reference so that it can, you know, fix those little bugs that it might have. But looking at this, I can basically scroll through the whole page and it looks fantastic. And I can even create detail pages using the same type of layout, right? Same type of design and layout. So I'm going to say, you know, create a product page using the same design and layout as the home page. And going back over here, what we can do is just click on the Nashville and it takes us to this page, right? So that's kind of like the first step. You just have to start connecting everything. Best maybe to make a list of these different connections. And as you can see in this product detail page that we asked it to create, we get it just like this, right? So you can bring in a Figma file and then you can bring in just one page and then build other pages based on this one page's design. And it basically creates like not only the what we asked it to create, but it also creates like extra helpful sections like reviews, FAQs, product details. And for the UI kit, we get all of these different pages, right? With these different uh, topography we see over here. We see like, for example, keyboard. We see some of this, like the Safari. And basically it does a great job. I asked it to basically create like a mobile app page, like a, like a nice little interface based on these different components. And it did an excellent job combining these. And as you can see, I can like click on these different tabs over here. We have the messages, we have the payments, we have the profile, we have the settings. And just imagine what you can build if you bring in different types of component libraries, different types of UI kits. This is just like another type of you know way to build, bringing in stuff from Figma. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, a bunch of great generations, as you can see here, um, straight from Figma, looking fantastic, I would say. Try it out yourselves. Let me know what you built. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And again, if you want to meet me and you want to meet the people that are in my community, we, you, you know, we do these calls every single weekday. Feel free to join that Discord link in the description below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. See you next time. Goodbye.